As always, it is so great to have you here and I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. Anyways, today we are making another classic Spanish recipe, this time from the historic region of Extremadura in the west of Spain, where they're famously known for their Roman architecture and their beautiful landscape. Anyways, we're talking patatas rebozadas con bacalao. This dish is basically cod fillets that you fry in extra virgin olive oil until they're golden fried. And then you serve them next to some battered potatoes for a Spanish style fish and chips dish that is absolutely delicious. Folks, we're talking easy to make, simple ingredients, and the kind of food that's going to fill your body with so much goodness. This video is sponsored by Tienda.com. La Tienda is an online superstore focusing on selling all things Spain for your home and kitchen. And they've been around since 1996. And like I always tell you, they have the biggest selection of artisan Spanish ingredients like queso manchego, the famous jamón serrano and jamón iberico, marcona almonds, olives, the beautiful canned seafood from Spain, and all the spices you need to make all your favorite Spanish recipes, among so many other great ingredients. And let me tell you, when it comes to cookware, they have an amazing selection of authentic Spanish paella pans that range in size from two servings all the way up to 50 servings. And they even offer classic grilling systems that way you can always perfectly cook your paella. Folks, visit tienda.com, let them know Albert from Spain on a fork sent you there, and make sure you use coupon code on a fork during checkout for 10% off your order. Okay, let's just dive right into this recipe. I'm gonna heat a large fry pan with a medium heat and add in one third cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 90 milliliters. While the oil is heating, I'm gonna cut two medium sized potatoes that have already been washed and patted dry. Each one of two rounds are a quarter inch thick, which is a little over half a centimeter. The secret here, make sure all the slices have a similar thickness. That way all the potatoes evenly fry. And as you can see, I'm leaving the skins on the potatoes as it adds more flavors and nutrients, but if you prefer, you can peel the potatoes. Then we'll add in half a cup of all-purpose flour into a bowl, which is about 60 grams. Season with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll mix it together. And we'll also crack in two eggs into a separate bowl. Add in two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, which is about eight grams. You can substitute this for one teaspoon of dried parsley, which is about one gram. And season with a kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll mix it together until everything's well mixed. Then we'll start coating the potatoes, first in the all-purpose flour, making sure they're evenly coated all around, and then into the egg wash. And finally, we'll add it into the pan with the hot olive oil. And you want to make sure all the potatoes are in a single layer, so cook this in batches to not overcrowd the pan. And we're going to go for about four to five minutes per side here, or until the potatoes are golden fried and fully cooked through. After nine to 10 minutes, and the potatoes are golden fried and fully cooked through. You know, you can always pierce them with a fork and if it easily goes in there, they are ready to go. I'm gonna start removing the potatoes from the pan and transferring them into a dish with some paper towels. And we'll continue to cook the rest of the potatoes in the exact same method. With the amount of potatoes we're using here, we should get this done in about three batches. And let me tell you, you wanna keep the potatoes warm that you just fried you just add them into a preheated oven at its lowest setting. While our potatoes are frying, let's start cooking up our cod. I'm going to heat a separate fry pan with a medium heat and add in a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 60 milliliters. While the oil is heating, I'm going to add in three cod fillets over some paper towels and pat them completely dry. The size of the fillets I'm using are 7 ounces, which is about 200 grams each. And I am using cod that are about frozen and thawed out, but you can also use the fresh stuff here, as well as any other type of firm white fish. Then we'll season the cod with salt and pepper, and you just have to do this on one side. And then cut each cod fillet in half to end up with 6 pieces of cod. 
Then we'll add in half a cup of all-purpose flour into a bowl. Once again, this is about 60 grams. Along with half a teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is 1.25 grams. And a little kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll mix it together until everything's well mixed. Then we'll add the pieces of cod into the flour mixture and gently mix them around. That way they're all coated in the flour. Then we'll add the pieces of cod into the pan with a hot oil. And once again, you want to make sure they're on a single layer. And we're going to go for about two to three minutes per side here or until the cod is fully cooked through and beautifully golden fried. After five to six minutes and the pieces of cod are golden fried and fully cooked through, we'll remove them from the pan and transfer them to a dish with some paper towels. Okay, let's move back to the potatoes. After cooking our third and final batch, this dish is ready to go. I'm going to transfer some of the potatoes into a serving dish. And some of the fried cod. And for the final touches, we'll garnish with some lemon wedges and some fresh parsley. Check it out, patatas rebozadas con bacalao, Spanish style fish and chips, a beautiful dish from the region of Extremadura. Easy to make, gorgeous presentation, and all done in about 30 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Folks, I have to tell you, I'm a huge fan of the classic fish and chips, so this I cannot wait to try. It looks amazing. Here we go. I wish I could transport this to you or teleport it one day. Seriously. Wow. Those uh, pieces of cod, light crispy texture on the outside, the cod just melts in your mouth, and then combined with those potatoes, those battered potatoes, taking this to the next level. You saw this easy to make, done in about 30 minutes. Give it a try at home, serve it next to a garden salad, and of course a bottle of Spanish wine, uh, more specifically from the wine region of Toro. You're gonna have yourself one of the best meals ever. Real quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Martin Giddings, Aravinda Garimea, Robert Manahan, and Hollis Helmichi. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way you can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Until the next time, hasta luego.